welcome back to the Rope Access channel. In this video, I will be talking you through passing a double deviation. Let's get into it. Why would you have a double deviation in the rope? The single one was only for positioning yourself next to a work spot. But the double deviation is mostly used to avoid a hazard. So maybe down here, there's some piece of machinery or glass or a sharp edge or anything, and I want to avoid that. All right, so I put, on, put in a double deviation, which needs to be double. If one breaks, then I'll always stay in the backup. So passing this, it's fairly easy. It's, you could actually do it the same as the single one, because the distance, the 1.5 meter and the 20 degrees, that's exactly the same. So, and the hazard is below me. So I could actually just open them, swing out, swing back in and clip in. But most people in Irata and in the rope access world would like to see you always attach to two points towards the wall. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna climb up a little bit higher. Something like this. And then, there, and again, like with all things, there's multiple ways to do it. I'm gonna choose the most easy one, which is using a pezzo grillon. I have made a third point of attachment here, which is the, uh, the, the load is distributed among the anchor points. So right now, I have three points of attachment to the wall. I can take one of the deviations of the rope and put it on the rope below. my crawl and my ASAP. After I've done that, I'm gonna go to the top one and repeat the process. So I've locked both carabiners and now I can let go of my grillon and slowly move back out. Now I'm ready to continue climbing. So, how to pass it on the way down? Well, first I need to change over in my descender. I'm in my descender. I've descended until I'm about level with the anchor points. Before I tell you how to continue through the deviation, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video. And the sponsor of this video is Industrial Klimme. Industrial Klimme is a training provider situated in the Netherlands, a little bit north of Amsterdam. They provide all kinds of working at height training. You can come here for your Arata training, your G GWO training. Right now there is a fire department doing some uh, rope rescue stuff. Um, you can come here for any training which involves working safely at height. Besides the practical stuff, there's also a physical store where you can come and test out the various pieces of climbing equipment. And if you're not able to make it in person, there's also a web shop available and they ship worldwide. So if you need any more information, just click the link in the description. Let's continue through this deviation. I'm gonna descend a little bit so that if I would attach the deviation, it would come right above my descender, okay? So some people tie the, like the pull-in knots here, but if I adhere to the Irata standard, I should always be able to make it to the anchor point. So I, I grab my anchor point, get my grillon ready, Pull myself in and clip in to the anchor point. There we go. Get closer. Right now, I'm ready to do the bottom deviation and I just click it into the rope and lock the carabiner. I do the top one. Clip it into the rope and lock the carabiner. I check the full system. I release my positioning lanyard or grillon. I clean up and I'm ready to descend. 
Like so. That's it, it's fairly easy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you're sure that you will never miss any videos coming out. If you would like to see anything more or something different or a different technique, because there's multiple ways of doing this, then leave a comment, ask the question, and I'll get right on it. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Stay connected.